What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So we're gonna be taking a look at the best tweaks you can get on the iPad. Now I haven't seen too many of these videos on YouTube of people showing off the best tweaks. So I figured I'd make one for you guys. Uh, and just for the record, this is the iPad 7th generation on iOS 13.3, jailbroken with check rain. If you guys need to see how to jailbreak with check rain, check out the video link in the description. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. First up is Zebra. This is basically a package manager. It's my Cydia replacement, basically. I like it much better than Cydia. And it allows you to do pretty much everything Cydia does, as you can uh, install or uninstall tweaks and uh, add sources and repos and find new tweaks and themes and stuff like that. Like I said, this is basically a Cydia replacement. And I just like it. I actually have a couple of updates. I'm going to go ahead and update those real quick here. Um, I just like Zebra much more than Cydia. It's it's more up to date. It's more streamlined. There's a lot more features. I did do a video on just Zebra alone. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a video link for Zebra down in the description. But like I said, uh, it's just my personal favorite package manager and it works really, really well. Next up, we got Shuffle. It does work on the iPad. And pretty much what it does is it puts all your tweaks, your apps, and your system apps into their own categories within the settings. As you guys can see, it makes settings much easier to navigate. It's a lot quicker to get to your tweaks. And like I said, you got your regular apps and then your system apps right there. It's just a must have tweak on iOS 13 and it works really nicely on the iPad. Here are all the different settings you can adjust with shuffle. I think it's just a go-to tweak. Snowboard allows you to theme your icons of course, you got to have it on the iPad. It really makes your device look custom. And uh, I really like the themes I have set up on this. So if we go into settings here, we'll back out and go down to snowboard and then select theme. These are the themes that I'm currently using. I have the check rain respring. I'm using bionic Phoenix and bohemic. I also have Felicity, but uh, these are definitely all of my favorite themes right here. Of course, there's a ton more and I'll get more as I install them on my iPad. But these are the ones that I installed first. Uh, and like I said, basically Snowboard just allows you to theme your icons. There's also extensions you guys are going to want, like icon effects, uh, the Respring logo, the settings icons. Those extensions allow you to customize uh, those different things. And like I said, I do have the Check Rain ring Respring, so I'm going to go ahead and do a Respring. So there you go. The, the orientation isn't correct because it goes for uh, basically portrait, but still very cool to have on the iPad. Again, Snowboard is a must-have. Groupie is a newer tweak. It works on the iPhone, it also works on the iPad, and I only have uh, one notification right now, at least for one application, but what Groupie does is pretty much, it'll put all of your notica notifications here in a nice line, and then you just click on it to display those notifications, and it's it's a really cool tweak. It's very similar to Axon. I think the design looks really, really cool, and like I said, you'll just have kind of a row of notifications that you can go through. You can actually click and hold on that little icon if you wanna clear all the notifications for that one application. Um, I'll actually not do that, uh, but I think it's just a really cool looking tweak being able to uh, swipe through all your different notifications, click on certain apps, very functional. Again, that's called Groupie. Of course, you got to have Jellyfish on the iPad. Unfortunately, the weather doesn't work because there's no weather app for the iPad, but still, I like the design of Jellyfish with the, the time and the date there. I just think it looks really cool. And then you have the... Um, the uh, uh, date there that has the adaptive color that color matches to your background. I think it just looks really, really cool. Again, that's Jellyfish. Next up, we got a newer tweak and it is called Links. Basically, I'm using it to hide the icon labels on my iPad, but you can use this to do a ton of stuff. Links is kind of like a Swiss Army knife of tweaks. It's just a ton of tweaks all compiled into one definitely worth having on your iPad. So if we go into the springboard here, I'm not going to go through and mention everything because this will take forever just because like I said, Lynx does a ton of stuff, but you can hide the dock background. You can hide the home bar. You can hide separators in your table views. And as you can see, as I scroll through here, you can just hide an absolute crap ton of different things with Lynx. As you can see, I'm using hide labels, hide the page dots. There you have 3D touch options, you have screen time, status bar, um, hide tab bar labels, home screen widgets, 
And that, that's just for the springboard. Here's the lock screen, just a ton of options. Like I said, Lynx is really kind of a Swiss army knife of a tweak. It pretty much repre uh, replaces like spring to mize. If you guys remember that, as you can see, you can customize just about everything, even third party applications like YouTube, SoundCloud and Instagram. This is really an awesome tweak. Again, that's called Lynx. Badge bar is another new tweak and it puts a little notification bar below your icon instead of having the little notification uh, dot kind of badge in the upper right. It puts a little bar below the app icon. Unfortunately, I don't really have any notifications to show it with, but uh, on my TweetBot application there, that's what the little bar looks like. If we go into settings and then we back out to badge bar, there is some customization you can do here. You can hide labels, um, hide update and beta dots. You can have a static badge color if you wanted to, for it to always be the same color, or you can have it be dynamic. That's what I have it on. So it color matches the app icon. And there's a bunch of other settings that you can tinker around with with Badge Bar. Now, Badge Bar, you will have to get from the developer's Discord. And I will leave the link for that down in the description. This is not, you're not going to be able to get it in Zebra or Insidia. You will have to get it from the developer's Discord. Like I said, link is in the description. CC Modules works on the iPad, and I really like it. Pretty much, it adds a ton of modules that you can add to your control center. As you guys can see there, I have uh, Reboot, Safe Mode, UI Cache, Respring up at the top. I have a shortcut for Zebra, TweetBot, Reddit, and even Minecraft has a shortcut. Um, like I said, this is a really cool tweak that allows you to add a bunch of different toggles to your control center. If we go into Customize Controls here, as you can see, there's the application shortcuts. There are the, uh, the system toggles there, like Reboot, Safe Mode. And as you can see, when I go through my my controls, it gives you a ton of controls that you can customize with Control Center. It's definitely a very, very functional tweak on the iPad, and I would highly recommend you guys to check it out. Again, that is called CC Modules. And the last application I got for you guys in this list is called Crashed. Now it's spelt a little different. It's like C-R-4-S-H-E-D. So it's not with an A, it has a four instead of an A, so keep that in mind. I'll leave the the name down in the description but what is so nice about this application especially on the iPad is a lot of these tweaks don't work on iPad so it's going to cause your springboard to crash and crashed is going to log every time you have that happen and give you an idea of what's going on now, I actually have a call of duty crash here I don't think that this has any yeah this doesn't have any um, known tweak issues that are causing it it just happened to crash but when you have like a springboard crash uh, it usually say your culprit would be like some certain tweak that might be causing it. And like I said, uh, this is super handy, uh, definitely worth installing and it's its own standalone application. Again, that is called Crashed. So there you go, guys. There is my tweak list for the iPad. My first jailbreak video for this iPad. Many more to come as more tweaks are released. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tweak lineup i will leave all the names of everything i mentioned down in the description also if you guys want my wallpapers you can find those on my telegram the link for that is in the description as well but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely throw me a thumbs up this has been jeremy and i will catch you guys in the next one later